Vertical video is present on almost all of social media. It's changing the traditional landscape of video content, but it's often not done the right way. So today I'm gonna to give you some of my tips on how to shoot better vertical video. Hello everyone, and welcome to the Wondershare channel where you can find unlimited inspiration to build your creative future. As a content creator, one thing that comes up very often is shooting vertical video. There are a lot of vertical video platforms these days, such as YouTube Shorts, TikTok, IGTV, and Instagram Reels. However, I've come to find that it's really difficult to shoot great looking vertical video. So through some trial and error, I've found some tips that I'd like to share with you all. A lot of videos on YouTube are made with the 16 by nine aspect ratio. However, rotating this aspect ratio isn't necessarily gonna work on every single platform. For Instagram, the best possible ratio for a regular feed post is not actually nine by 16, but four by five. To be more specific, a video that is 1080 pixels wide by 1350 pixels tall will not cut off the top or bottom of your image. It will show the entire thing. This can change for different platforms, so make sure to check before you upload. Every platform has its own set of rules or standards for vertical video. For example, Instagram has different rules than YouTube Shorts. Instagram has a few different ways to upload videos. IGTV, Instagram Reels, and just a regular Instagram post, which seems to be a little bit more geared towards photos. To our knowledge, IGTV tends to have better uploading quality. If posting with the best video quality possible is important to you, we recommend uploading to IGTV instead of IG Reels. It does have a 60 second minimum length requirement, otherwise it will be uploaded as a reel. So I recommend that if your video is too short, you consider looping it. If you need a video editor to do that, I recommend you take a look at Wondershare Filmora 10. Also, the 9x16 aspect ratio does work on IGTV. It won't crop out any part of the image, however the top and bottom of your image will be cropped for the feed preview. Using a DSLR is a great way to get better visuals because it has more features, better sensors, and more lens options to cater to your creativity. Now if you think that you can just zoom in or crop landscape footage shot on a DSLR, this is a major no. You won't be getting the best image quality by doing this. Instead, orient your DSLR to shoot vertically. It can be tricky to film yourself in vertical video using a DSLR. So to make this easier, set up your camera and put it on a tripod, but rotate it 90 degrees from what you normally would do. And now just tilt the head until your camera is oriented vertically. If you're thinking that you're going to need to transfer your camera footage onto your smartphone to upload to social media, well guess what? You don't! You can upload directly to YouTube Shorts, IGTV, and TikTok from your desktop. If you don't have a DSLR, then you should consider learning how to use your phone to its full capacity. It's pretty easy to set up your smartphone to shoot a static shot. So here's what I do if I want to add some movement. Walk with your legs bent. When you start your movement, do a little push at the start to start it off, and when you're done walking, do a little push at the end to end your movement. It'll look better than an abrupt start and stop. Are there any tips you have for vertical video that I didn't mention? Let us know in the comments down below. If you're looking to enhance your vertical video, definitely take a look at our recent video on Wondershare VidApp. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.